Hey, shalom and welcome to the Kamak Pash from Jim Islam and giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chachwadash. When they give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and shalom out there to the whole for that's pushing his truth in all sincerity. Uh, coming at you again with another video. I'm going to entitle this one The Elect Know the Importance or the, or the Greatness of Yahweh Shai. You know, because you know, there's people out here that want to give Yahweh Shai his dues and give him the respect that he's. Been given by the Heavenly Father, all right, from up on high, and that you know, all, all, all come to serve and bow and worship Yahweh Shai, all right. That's the position and the honor and the glory that the Most High Yahweh has set him up to receive. And, and you know, of course, the Most High gets his reverence, right? He's the Most High, okay, he gets the highest reverence. But Yahweh Shah was also set up to receive glory and to be exalted amongst his brethren, okay, i.e. the Israelites right? and, and the rest of the world, man. They're all going to bow and, and, and worship Yahweh Shai. Right? That is what, you know, the glory that the Most High had given into his son. And so he's going to receive that, whether you like it or not, whether you think he deserves to be worshipped or not, man. Okay, we're not here to, to, to play around and, you know, you, you guys, man, you know, you play, you, you live dangerous lives. You know, you live dangerous lives, man. You know, you're going to sit here and, and talk down, you know, the one that is going to, the one that has redeemed us, the one that's going to save us and deliver us from, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble, okay, which we're, <laughs> which we're heading into. Okay, and you've got that guys that want to uh, uh, deny that and leave all kind of wacky shit, you know. But, you know, Yahweh Shai is the one, he's the one that's going to come down and, and deliver his elect. And you're going to sit there and talk bad about the man, okay, and not respect him. You you live in somewhere else, man, because you ain't, you ain't here. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't all there in the mind, man, you know. And, yeah, you know, I, I, you know, I, I just think it's evidence. Okay, what we're, what we're witnessing is just evidence. It's just evidence that, you know, you guys that are speaking in this manner are not men of the Lord. Okay, the Lord ain't coming to deliver you, okay, lest you repent. Okay, the Lord ain't coming to deliver you. Right, and you're gonna have to find that the hard way. Okay, the men of the Lord who have faith, that belief, right? They're the ones that are gonna be delivered. They're the ones that are gonna be saved, and they're the ones that are gonna be honored by Yahweh Shai when Yahweh Shai places crowns upon the elect's head. Okay, Lord, we will be of those men. Okay, but it's just, you know these things are, that are happening, and you know the types of things that these guys are saying out here. It, I think you know it's just evidence. Okay, that you guys are not of the Lord. Okay, it's as simple as that, man. You can argue to the cows come home, as they say. Okay, going back and forth, whether you believe this, whether you believe that, or does this book exist, and does it is it is it, uh, is it authentic? And you can do all the debating you want, right? The men, the Lord, the elect, they've got this truth. Okay, if you ain't got it, okay, you don't believe it, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, go and do whatever it is that you want. You want to go do and believe, and don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about it, man. You know, but the elect man, they're gonna they're gonna stand stiffly, they're gonna stand firm in in the belief, okay, and give the Most High his, his respect and his dues, and Yahweh Shai his respect and his dues. All right. So let's just jump into the lesson. Uh, like I said, the elect know, okay, understand the greatness of Yahweh Shai, right? Um. So I just want to get a few scriptures out and a couple of examples. All right. So. I'm going to start here in Matthew chapter 16 and verse 13 here. Right? It says, When Yahweh Shai came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Right? Because that's the title that, that the Lord had, the Son of Man, because he came in the flesh. Okay? He came of a, of a, born of a, of a woman through the seed of man, through Joseph, okay? who was of the tribe of Judah, or the lineage of David. Right? That's how it happened. That's how it occurred. He, he came as the Son of Man, right? And it says, verse 14, And they said, Some said that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets, okay, which shows you they had an understanding of reincarnation. They, they, they thought, you know, the Lord was one of these great prophets coming back. Right? They obviously understood this. Okay? And some guys, they can't get their head around reincarnation today. You know? But like I said, they, they're just not in the know. They're not, the Lord's not dealing with them. Right? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the anointed 
Okay, that's what Christ means, right? It's not a name, it's a title. He is the anointed, the chosen one, the one, Neo the one. He is the one, right? The son of the living God, okay? The only begotten of the heavenly father. That's who he is, right? He is the son of the most powerful entity in existence, <laughs> right? Just that alone deserves respect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just that alone deserves respect, man. Because you say you got, you got people in the world, niggas and, you know, you know, gang bang. You got all these kinds of wicked ass people out here that demand respect and they get, they get given it, man, because people are scared of him. They're scared of them, right? All, all kinds of, you know, these people, people are scared of them and they get respect, man. Okay? If, they, if man asks often to prostrate, man, man, to prostrate. No, so there's no doubt when your shy turns up on, <laughs> on the earth, man. Like, that's what you say. Every, every uh, tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow. Okay, in that reverse order. <laughs> every 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 uh, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, right? There's no doubt that that's what these deniers are gonna be doing when Yahweh turns up. <laughs> There's no doubt, right? They're gonna they're gonna be shocked. They're gonna be shocked, man. And they are gonna prostrate, they're gonna bow down themselves and be begging for mercy. There's no doubt, right? But anyway, so this is what Peter yeah, Peter said this, right? So uh, verse 16, right? It says, And Simon Peter answered, and said, Thou art the, the, the Christ, the anointed, the Son of the living God. And Yahweh answered, and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon of Jonah, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven, right? The elect, the men of the Lord, they get it. The Most High revealed it to him from up on high, right? And just because you you were too stubborn to get it, you know, Lord, Lord gave you that, that hard, adamant head. Yeah, you can't accept these things, man. Guess what? It's, it's a block. It's a mental block to you. So you can't get it. So you can't be delivered. You know? And, you know, there's the, the, the nothing to do with us. You know? You may disagree with us, but it doesn't mean what you're saying is true. And like I said, this, this spirit of... You know, denying the Lord his name and his his role, his his position, his title, and and you know how how he's supposed to be honored and things like this. Like, you know, it's just not given to you because you're not meant to do these things. You're not meant to be uh, delivered or healed or, or any of these things that you know the scripture speaks about. You're there to be left out in the cold. You're there to be rebellious, to be hard headed, right? To ultimately receive judgment. That's that's what it's there for. That's what you're here for, you know, these guys out here that do that. All right. So, yeah, so it's revealed from, by the Heavenly Father, by his choosing, you know, for the elect. That's you understand these things. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 7. It says, Surely the Lord power, Yahweh, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And the fact if you don't know or don't, can't get this, man, it just, it just shows, it's just evidence that, the, that you're not servants of the Lord. You know, that's all it is. And so we don't really sit there and get angry about it, but, you know, hey, we've, got, we've got a job to do, defend the gospel. You know, it's, it's you guys, man, that, you know, making all the noise and, you know, in the, the day, you know, you know uh, be hung out to dry when the Lord comes, man. Right, this is Romans 11 verse 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, the elect of Israel, the chosen of Israel. Okay, the servants of the Lord, right? The election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The rest of these guys out there that think they know the truth are really just blind. They're, 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 they're blind leading the blind. They think they know, they think they understand. Okay, they think they know what it is. Okay, and what it ain't. Okay. But they don't. All right. Verse eight, according as it is written, God have given them the spirit of slumber eyes. Okay, the Lord's got hold of His spirit on these dudes, man. And it, it might seem like they're diligent in, in in this or that, you know, in a certain thing or whatever. It might it might seem that they they're zealous even. Right, but not all of it is according to knowledge. And most I have not given it all to them, and they start coming out of wacky and bogus shit. All right, it says the God have given Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. So you can be deceived. 
You deceive yourself. You know? The deceiver and the deceiver are the lords, man. The Lord has got you in this in this sleep, man, in sleepwalking, just you know. Not uh not of sober mind. Alright? So that eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David saith, let their snare be made, sorry, let their table be made a snare, right? And and like like the Sakari group, right? They 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 be pulling out pages out of the Bible or this don't this don't um you know, this this uh this can't be verified. You know, you're just taking the, the scriptures apart and saying things don't um can't be used and things like this. What what the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> just picking books and picking, you know, uh, verses and you know chapters that things oh well, Paul Paul wrote that and who's Paul we can't verify who's this person who's that no can't be verified and so you're just ripping up the scriptures and just doing your own thing like bro it's, it's crazy right your your this the table which is these scriptures has been come been made a snare unto you right, but you're not the only guys doing it you know you know, picking and choosing what uh what suits them you know. You're in the only guys, but it's been made a snare unto you, so you can't really receive this truth, man. Right? You've not been uh, given the, the, the skill and the spirit to handle it, right? So let the table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block, right? And a recompense to unto them, right? Let their eyes be darkened that they that they may not see and bow down back their back always, right? So you're you're you know these guys out there they're they're here to stumble and fall, to get it wrong, to fail. Okay, they're not here to get the truth, man, and be delivered. Oh, that's that's for the elect. And if you're not of the elect, man, you're not gonna receive the truth. You're not really gonna understand this, man. You're not really gonna get it. You're not really gonna see things for how they should be seen or not for what they truly are. Only the, the elect can. You know, people like Peter. He saw, he, he knew that you that Yahweh Shai was the anointed. He knew. You know? Was, did he have evidence? No. It was faith. It was revealed to him in the spirit. You know? The same thing with us, right? Um, it's Matthew chapter 17 and verse 5 says, um, uh, yeah, let's get verse 5 the point here right? It says while he yet spake Behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and, and behold a voice out of the cloud Which said this is my beloved son Okay this, that's what, who, who, who were they hearing? The Most High Right Most High said this is my beloved son In whom I am well pleased Hear ye him Most High sent you shy to be heard To be followed To be worshipped Right Because like the, you know, I was an apostle has been saying, but like we're cut off from the Heavenly Father, man. We don't have no direct connection to the Heavenly Father. Our connection through the Heavenly Father is through our husband, okay, who is Yahweh Shai, right? We we can't usurp that that uh, the authority. We can't we can't usurp um, Yahweh Shai. We can't just or, or bypass him. That's our husband right now. We need permission. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, that's that's kind of how it is, man. We're not. We can't just go. Seek Heavenly Father, the Most High turned his back upon him, and he's left us out there in the hand of our enemies for a long time until really he, he sent the Savior, sent Yahweh Shai to, to redeem us. Right? The Most High wasn't hearing us. Yahweh Shai is the one that brings our prayers to the Heavenly Father, man, and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, mediates with him. You know? And, 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 you know, fights our cause kind of thing. Right, that's your how was I doing that for us? Okay, you you ain't do you you, know, you ain't doing it. You, you can't just go straight directly to, to the heavenly Father and, and you know and, and and be saying all of this stuff. You know, go and pray and, and asking for this, asking for that. You can't do that. I'm not saying hearing you, man. You have to deliver it to your how was I first. Okay, and then that's why when we, when we you know pray and open up and you know, all, all things, man, we always say in the name of Yahweh, who's the Most High, or. or Yahweh in the name of the Most High. Uh, Yahweh in the name of the, of the Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? Because it has to go through Yahweh Shai first. Because that's the, that's the way the Most High set it up. Right? Yahweh Shai is the Most High's representative. He, he sent Yahweh Shai to deal with us directly. 
you know? Yahweh Shad, the middleman between us and the Heavenly Father, man. We, we can't just go straight to the to the top. You know, we, we lost that privilege. You know, for, for you know, because we're being assholes, man. Just like Israel still being assholes today, being rebellious. You know, so we lost that privilege, man. And, and so, you know, and we got Yahweh Shai now to do that for us. Because Yahweh Shai is where is he go before the Heavenly Father? We're not. You know? Um, back here in verse uh, verse 6. Uh, actually, did I want this? Did I want this? Mm. That's what I wanted. That was the point. Okay. So we're here, to, we're here, you know, to hear Yahweh Shai, to listen to him, to obey him. Okay. Uh, it's John chapter 3, verse 35. The father loveth the son and have given all things into his hands. Okay, including us. Right? We've been given into Yahweh Shai's hands, okay, beginning with the elect. Right? It says, He that believe on the Son have everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Remember, Yahweh Shai and the Most High are one, you know, one in mind, okay, not one in entity, but one in mind. Right? The Lord is saying some deep things right now. If you if you if you ain't you know if you don't believe in me you, you know the father's not with you man it's as simple as that it's very it's very clear what he's saying right Yahweh was set up for, he's the shepherd <laughs> you know he's been set up to lead us man right and he's been set up set up with great glory and also I set him up with great glory man to be worshipped. All right. So he that believe on the Son have everlasting life, and he that believe not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. And right? the Most High will send judgment against that man. Um. Okay, so this is uh, Matthew chapter 28, verse uh, 16, right? It says, Then the, the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Yahweh had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. You guys are some that doubt. You, you, you doubt. You don't, you don't believe. You don't believe that he should be worshipped. You don't believe that this is how we're supposed to treat the one that has delivered us or who, who redeemed us. From the curse through his own blood for his own sacrifice you you the one that doubt we we don't doubt man and i said there was nothing no one got rebuked here for for worshiping just that some doubted some didn't believe some didn't have the faith and there's a lot of guys that like you out there you know and how i came and spake unto them saying no you shouldn't <laughs> you shouldn't shouldn't worship me no that's not what you know that's not what he said what he did say is, Yahusha came and spake unto him, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Authority. Power, authority, right? Given to him, all power, all authority is given to him in heaven and in earth. Right? The most high set him on, on, on the next level, man. You don't, you don't truly understand it. You know? The angels obey him. The only, the only one that's not underneath him is the Most High Himself, because obviously He's the Most High, right? Everything is underneath, is, is subjugated by Yahweh Shai, is underneath Yahweh Shai. And if you, you can't respect the Son, you ain't respecting the Father, that's for damn sure. You, you know, sitting there talking lightly about His Son, you're, you're fucking crazy. And you think that's, that's going to get you in the good books with the Most High? By by you know dismissing his son like that, bro, you, you you're mental. You need help, <laughs> right? You need help, man. Okay, that's not how you go. That's not how you get go about getting delivered. Man. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you know, you're asking for trouble, man. Asking for trouble, man. That's why you should just keep your mouth fucking shut. Anyway, right. Um, so, yeah. And Yahushua came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in, in heaven and in earth. All right? That's the point I wanted to add out. So, uh, it's John chapter 14 and verse 6. It says, Yahushua saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no other way to the Father. Mosiah set him up in again such a, such a position. Okay, Yahweh Shai is our savior, is our God. Okay, much like the order of things, you know, with with, with man and women, like the head the head of the man is Yahweh Shai. Okay, the head of the woman is the man. Right, the woman can't usurp the man to go to Yahweh Shai and, and 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 to the Mosiah and all that. They, they they can't do that. They have to deal with you. They have to deal with the man. In the same way, we can't just we can't just go straight to the heavenly father. We have to deal with Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is our, is our husband. It's the same thing. It's just, it works the same way, right? But the head of the father, uh, head of of, of Yahweh Shai, is the Most High. That's the order. But you want to go around the order, like Yahweh Shai wasn't set up for that position specifically to 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 you know to be to operate in that in that fashion. Oh, I don't worry about him. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna talk to him. Like he don't, like he don't matter. No, no, bro, he matters. All right? And anybody that like they they ain't showing the respect, man. The Most High ain't gonna ain't gonna the Most High not gonna show the no respect, man. And we would know, we you know the Most High not respect to persons, but you know you ain't gonna get no no. Yeah, well done. You know you 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 know you 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 um you know you are still strong in in believing that I'm the Most High. And, yeah, what? Well, he, that's not what he's gonna. He's not, that's not what he's gonna do. You know, he's gonna be like, "What? You sit here disrespecting my son? You're like, tell would you, man? Lightning bolt, boom! You know what I'm saying? Judgment. Like, I don't. Know, I don't know how you expect that that, that conversation to, to kind of go down. Oh, yeah, but Lord, I, 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 I didn't acknowledge your, your son. <laughs> how do you even? How do you even bring about a conversation like that, man? Yeah, you know, I never, I never bowed to your son and. I didn't. I didn't believe that he was the what? What, bro? What's I gonna do with these guys, man? You know. Uh, and I'm reading that again. Yahweh shall say unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, you know who I was. Like the Samaritan woman. Like if you, if you knew, <laughs> like because he said the same sort of thing, same thing to her. Like not. You know, if you knew who asked uh, asked to drink, you know, it's, it's saying these 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 knuckleheads just don't know. They don't understand Yahweh Shai who he is and his importance. They just don't get it. Right? If you had known me, you should have known my father also. You would know his will. You'd know a lot, whole lot of things about that father if you'd known me. But these guys just don't get it. They can't. They can't get it. Right, and from henceforth you know him and have seen him, because he is he is as his father is, man. You know, yeah. What can you do, eh? These men are you know on their own. The most I got them on their own path, man. So you know, they're gonna have to go through with it. Um. I'm not waiting to bring this out. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. This is what John the Baptist said, right? To show you the gravity of, of the Lord. He's not just an, another Israelite. He ain't just a brother, you know. He, he ain't just a bro, you know. He, 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 he our Lord. <laughs> he our Lord, man, right? He is a savior, okay? And like I said, he's been given a great office, a great position, uh, by the most high hour, right? Anyway, this is what um, John said, uh, John the Baptist. Uh, Matthew 3 and 11 says, I indeed baptize you with war unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He's not even worthy. He can't He, he can't do what the Lord does, you know, what he's coming to do. He hasn't been appointed that 
He's not been given that honor. He, he can't fill those shoes. Right? He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Right? Which then I wanted to jump into Mark 1 and 7. This is the same point, but I think I'm going to read through. Where is it? Or was it in the previous one? Okay, I, I'm going to come back there. So let me read this first. Mark 1 and 7. This is, and, uh, and preach saying, they're coming one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. Like, he, he's not even worthy to unloosen the shoe. You know? Being in a prostrated position, being stooped down, bowed down, he's not even worthy to touch the soul, you know, touch the foot of the Lord or shoe of the Lord to undo to undo it for him, man. Oh, that was the other instance I was thinking about. I knew I was missing something that I wanted to bring out. I was like, yeah, I was shy. Uh, but let me, actually, let me get this before I forget. Um... Uh, feet elect. No, I didn't say elect, does it? Disciples. Right. Because in a similar fashion to what John was saying just now, disciples didn't want the Lord to wash their feet because they weren't worth <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, they weren't, they were like, what the hell, man? Like, you're, you're the... The savior, you're the Messiah. Like, what the what the hell are you washing my feet? Nah, man, I can't allow that. They they you know had an issue with that. Same way John, well, John's about to have an issue in the description I'm gonna get, but um let me grab this. Let me grab this. Um John 13 and 4. I'm for free. How much I knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, right? That that scripture again, right? And that he was come from God. And went to God. And he's going to return, right? He rises from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. And after he pour, and after that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel where he was girded. And then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, why dost, why dost that, Lord, dost thou wash my feet, right? Like, he didn't, like, and how shall I say unto him, what do, what I do, what I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter said to him, thou shalt never wash my feet. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right? Because that's your king. Your king, is not, your, king, your king is not really meant to, like, he's not in uh, 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 to, to lower himself to, to others. You know what I mean? He's the king. Yahweh is the savior. He's the anointed. He's the king of Israel. Right? And the and the king is on a position, a, a position of that is worshipped. So, you know, so Peter said to him, "Thou shalt never wash my feet." How shall I answer him? If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Right, Lord, just cut him straight. Look, now you're gonna you you're gonna you gonna you gonna take this washing. <laughs> you know, so Peter had to shut up, man. It's like, you know. And then Peter went all into it. It's a sign Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also ooh, yeah, but also my hands and my head. It's like he was going all in after that. And how shall I say to him, he that is washed needeth not to say to wash his feet, but is clean every whit. And ye are clean, but not all. All right. And it starts going into Judas. But, you know, they didn't want to be, uh, for the Lord to, you know, to lower himself to do that. They didn't want. They want. They didn't want that, cause they, cause they, cause Peter understood. Peter understood who Yahweh Shai was, man. You know, cause if anything, they should have been washing his feet. You know, um, so where was I? What was I gonna grab now? Uh, yeah, it was here with it. Back in Matthew chapter three, and uh, I want to go down. I shall well just read from verse 11 again. Right? It says, I, I baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. 
whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then come if you of Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. Right? So John was already feeling like he's not even worthy to, 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 to unloose the, the you know shoe of his foot. Right? But here it here it is, Yahweh has come to be baptized of him, man. And, and so like he's just thinking, no, I, I can't do that. I'm not I'm not worthy to do that. Right? So verse 14 says, But John forbade him. He tried to refuse, just like Peter did. Or tried to. You know? Because it wasn't his station to do that. Like Yahweh station is way, 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 way above ours, man. You know? And that's why I said John said, John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee. Because that's the, the the right order of things. Like I need I need your baptism, man. You know, I'm just I'm just a boy, we're servants. And you know how I shall call his friends, you know. But we're lower than he is. Alright? Says so, but John forbid is saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me. And how I shall answer and say unto him, Suffer it to be so now. And that's the thing, how I had to suffer everything as it was written. Right, the Hawashai it wasn't set up to be king of Israel and to be, you know, to be exalted in in this in this time, right? So you know, sometimes like, like the elders or, or apostles were mentioning, like he might have, you know, kind of like try to to like ignore the fact that you know people were trying to worship him and stuff like that. But it's it's not like he rebuked them; he never did, you know. But it just wasn't. He just wasn't set up to be that guy right at that right at that point in time. He's meant to be lowly and meek and humble, like, and you know, he couldn't do that if he's you know riding on horses like Nathaniel, <laughs> you know. So you know, he, he had to he had to suffer suffer it for for prophecy's sake. All right, but he's he's he, he on the right hand side of the heavenly father right now, waiting to claim his throne, and then he's gonna be glorified. All right. Um. So Yahweh shall answer said unto him, Suffer it, it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. You know, you got those that believe John the Baptist fell out the truth, bro. How? Like he John's a chosen vessel. John's a John's a great man. Right? A great prophet. You know, it's just people out here with with their bugged out doctrines, man. But they're the they're the bug outs. They're the bugged out ones. They're the ones that are not in the truth anymore, man. They just don't, they just don't see it. You know, they're bugged. <laughs> like, like, you know, they're bugged, man. Like a couple of other individuals out there, man, calling on names of new gods, like back of Pacamentos and all this shit. So uh, they're, they're the bug ass, man, but they think they're in the truth. It's like all these guys think, that, you know, that, that, well, maybe, maybe some of them know, innit? But, you know, a lot of guys, you know, think they're in the truth, but they got, they, they, they're bugged out. You know? So, so, so it becomes for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him, so he had to do it. All right, and then we get the same kind of uh, event that sort of takes place with John the Baptist and Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai, when he was baptized, went up straight up, uh, straight out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and, and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. All right, so Yahweh Shai was doing all the right things, man, you know. And like I said, if it, if it was if it was wrong for us to or wrong for individuals to come and worship the Lord, then he would have said so. But he never actually did. You know, he he might have like kind of shirked it off, like you know, to try and not make a fuss about it because it, like I said, it wasn't time. But you know, he never he never condemned nobody for doing that. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna close out with this because this just shows you, man. Like I said, everything was in heaven and in earth was given into the power of Yahweh Shai and in into his hands, right? And this from Revelation chapter 5, verse 11 it says, And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb, okay, who's Yahweh Shai, that was stained to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing, right? And every creature which is in heaven, and on the earth, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing, and honour, and glory, and power be unto him that sit upon the throne. So everyone everyone knows, everyone's going to know, right, that Yahweh Shai is, is the exalted one. 
Right, the Most High exalted him above all things. Right. Um, be unto him, uh, yeah. Be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. Right. So, like I said, you know, the things in heaven are going to bow down to Yahweh. You don't think we, we're not going to? Okay, that's 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 a ludicrous idea to you know to be thinking that, you know, of course we're gonna be we're gonna be bowing down because he's worthy, worthy of worship, you know, for his for his sacrifice. The Most High, he have pleased the Most High, and the Most High great, gave him a great station, a great honor, and a great glory. Right, what we're not gonna glorify him? How how is he gonna receive his glory then if we're not gonna bow down to him? You know. Because he, 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 you know, he's sharing his power with us. What you think oh, that means makes us all even? That makes us all equal? No, it don't. The Hawash is the one being to being raised up. Okay, yes, we're going to be raised up too, but not to the extent the Hawash is because we never we never delivered nobody. We didn't we didn't we didn't uh, uh, save no nation in Israel. We didn't do that. The Hawash did that for us. So he's going to get the greater glory. Right, there's levels to this, right? And if and if, like I said, the angels and that they're gonna bow down to you, you, you damn sure we're gonna be bowing down and worshiping Yahweh Shai too, right? But also we're gonna be bowing down and worshiping the heavenly Father. It's just as simple as that. It, you know, the Most High is is the Most High, and all praises go back to Him. Okay, He's the one that created Yahweh Shai in the first place, but the Most High have set up His Son for that praise. You know. And really, if you ain't doing it, the most time he's gonna be displeased <laughs> that you ain't respecting his son. It's, you know. So I don't know what you know, what rash, you know, self righteous think, you know, thinking that you're, you know, you're that you're doing that is gonna get you uh, delivered, man. That you're just pissing the heavenly father off, man. You know, and 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 and, and judgment's gonna come. But you know what? I'm gonna end it there. Always, this has been edifying, and I'll catch you brothers and sisters on the next video. So, till next time, I say shalom.